It's the Angry Environmentalist back with you again today. And uh, what I want to talk about today is shoes, okay? And I'm angry, again, because companies are designing crappy products, and it's mainly product design, that's the crappy part of it, that gives rise to a product that lasts for very limited lifetime and you have to throw it away. Now, what's the environmental impact of, of someone throwing away one pair of shoes? Well, I put it down as negligible, okay? But what about a million pairs a year going out the door? 10 million pairs a year? How about 100 million pairs of shoes a year? Instead of a quarter of that, okay? I mean, it's just absolute nonsense. And the company I'm calling out today is Walmart. And I'm calling out Mike Duke because he's the CEO and he earned over $5 million last year. And Walmart, uh, uh, everybody knows Walmart. It's a, it's a multi-billion dollar company. I think they did uh, was it $470 billion in sales last year. They made $13 billion in profit. So, you know, this is a huge company. They have ample resources to try and do things better. They're trying to tell you how environmentally sensitive they are. Well, you know, I just call it BS on, on all these guys. They're, 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 they're basically lying to all of us, okay? They're trying to tell you what a great job they're doing. Well, here's what recycling and the environment's supposed to be about, okay? That's called the international recycling symbol. Reduce is first thing, reduce waste, reduce use. So if you don't need to buy something, don't, right? That's the first. If you do need to buy something, you know, buy it, I guess, right? Try to reuse something, then recycle it, okay? What are you going to do with a pair of shoes that breaks down? Well, there's no place for them to go but in the garbage. So, you know, this is the worst case scenario, basically. You buy the product, it's, it's no good, you throw it out, okay? And, you know, I'm angry at Walmart because this isn't their cheapest shoe, okay? This is a shoe I wear to work every day. I'm an office worker, okay? And it got office worker use, okay? Real hard on shoes, right? Walking around in a carpeted environment all day long. And uh, maybe on a little, you know, flat tile or what have you. So this isn't exactly a shoe that gets a lot of punishment. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So uh, I'm going to focus in on these shoes here. And uh, I hope that's... So I'm going to show you what I mean about why these shoes are crappy, okay? These shoes have hardly any use. These are the original shoelaces. As you can see, they're, they're barely worn. They need a polish job here. Sorry, probably out of the frame there. Uh, these are the shoelaces. They're barely worn. These are brand, the, brand, the original shoelaces that came with the shoe. This is, uh, you know, it needs a polish job, right? You know, but basically the uppers are 100% serviceable it just needs it needs a little polish that's all and uh, I didn't polish them because the problem with the shoe is the material they put on the bottom here is so thin it's actually it's broken down here it's worn away it's worn away in the same spot here you can actually see the the I don't know what you call it I'm not a shoe person but you can actually see sort of the the casing area here coming through if you walk on it you can start to feel moisture through there um, this part here, the waffle, is very thin, okay? And it's, it, it, I mean, there's, it just wore down. There's nothing left to the shoe. And it's hardly been worn. I mean, I think I've had these shoes for less than a year. It's worn out here. Hey, Walmart, how about putting an extra two or three dollars in the bottoms of the shoes so they don't wear out, okay? You guys want to be environmentally sensitive? Stop talking about it and do something, goddammit, okay? Stop treating the planet like a dumping ground. What's your motto? Save money, live better? Well, it doesn't save me any frickin' money if I have to if I have to throw away the shoes all the time, does it? Okay? I don't know what I spent, $70, $60 on these shoes. These were one of the higher end in-house models that you guys had. Okay? This wasn't your cheapest shoe by any stretch. Because I said, I'm tired of buying cheap and having stuff break down. Live better? Save money? No. Okay, that's my call out for Walmart. And uh, like I say, they're, you know, these companies, as far as I can see, they're all the same. They talk to talk, nobody walks the walk, and they act like we're just going to throw the planet away at the end of this whole escapade. Okay, this one here is a Reebok shoe. Okay, I'm a runner shoe, running shoe, I wear it every day. Not exactly your most physically fit guy, okay. 
and uh, you know, uh, so I, it's a walking shoe for me. I walk around when I don't wear those other shoes. I wear these, and and that's it. Well, what's the problem with this shoe? Well, the bottoms are good. Okay, yes, it's wearing a little thin here, but I don't know how much material they've got on there. How long it would last? That's fine. Okay, my feet get hot, so I, I like the idea of the mesh shoe, and that's why I bought it. But look. It ripped out here and here. Okay, so obviously this is a poor design, right? It's a poor design to put it in this area. And the reason I say that is because it wore out in exactly the same place on this shoe. Okay, and I'm not a sports. I'm not having contact with, with you know, people fighting for a rugby ball here or something or a, a football. I mean, this is probably from sitting in my car and just having it against the, the side of the transmission hump or whatever. I don't know. I mean, who... Who knows, right? But the point is, is obviously this is a very bad area to put this material in. So stop putting that material in. And I always wonder about your companies. Does anybody actually, does anybody actually, you know, field test these things anymore? Or do they just say, you know what, we're going to design something on a computer and we're going to pump out a billion of them or, or, or 10 million of them. I don't know what the number is. And you know what, if it goes to hell, who cares? The consumer is just going to throw it away. Well, you know what? The consumer throws it away because it's crappy and he can't be bothered to take it back for his, I think this was 50 or $60, this was a you know, $60 shoe I think. And he can't be bothered to take it back for $60 and scream and pound the table and, and retain a receipt. I mean, it's a joke. Build something that lasts a little bit better, design something a little bit better, field test it. Hello people, you know, how many pairs of shoes are going totally without the waste stream? What, what products are used to make this stuff, right? And how hard is this to recycle? I mean, this is a composite material. At the end of the day, composite materials are tough to get rid of, right? You can't really recycle them. So you better, you better make them durable, right? You better make them last because they're hard to recycle. What do you do with this? It's got, uh, you know, 50 different materials in it probably. I don't know what the number is. No, I'm some scientists. You guys, you know, this is Reebok. You're a major shoe company. Walmart, come on. Stop grinding your suppliers like that so that they can't put in an extra couple of bucks worth of rubber on the bottom of the shoe. So I can't have a shoe that lasts until the, the uppers wear out at the same time the bottom does. Or, you know, the shoe doesn't even last a year. I'm an office worker. Hello? Save money? Live better? You guys don't care about the environment. All you care about is sending another freaking pair of shoes out the door and adding it onto your 10Q or 10K or whatever it is, you know. I mean, I get so angry. There's so much waste. And everybody acts like it's a big deal to try and stop wasting stuff. Well, why don't we get some easy gains first? Build a shoe that lasts. Design it, field test it. Okay, Walmart, oh, well, you know, we trust our suppliers or whatever your excuse is. Well, don't, okay? Get them to bring in videos of how the shoe's been show worn and, and used and, and, you know, what the weak points are. You know, don't just accept it, right? If I'm an employee of your company and I come to work every day and I tell you, oh, you know, I did this and I did that, and no one ever sees me in, 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 in your store, right? The manager's going to be all over me. He's going to say, hey, angry environmentalist, get the heck over here and start working. Well, what are you guys doing? You just say, oh, well, you know, it's our suppliers, you know, we, we you know, we blah, blah, blah. Well, Maybe your system's a little bit flawed that you got to grind them so hard that they can't put in an extra couple of bucks worth. Or maybe you tell them what the specifications are and then you grind them hard, but you make sure the shoe's going to last. Okay? Design it right. Make it last. Save the environment. Is it complicated? Okay? I'm not a scientist.